done. Speaking of which, that has become a theme, oddly enough, in New Jersey, uh, looking after uh, illegal immigrants, making New Jersey potentially a modern-day sanctuary state, much like California. Though he didn't spend a good deal of time on the issue in his inaugural address, he did touch on the notion that the wealthy should pay more, even though they will not have the benefit of writing off taxes in states that are considered high taxes like his. He said, you know, a stronger and fairer New Jersey ensures that the wealthiest among us pay their fair share in taxes so working and middle class families can keep more of their hard earned money. I, I am not giving up on that millionaire's tax. He goes on to say, for those of you who are debating whether to stay in New Jersey or leave or perhaps considering moving here from elsewhere, I commit to you many years from now, when you look back, planting your flag in New Jersey will be one of the smartest decisions you have ever made. To making money in New Jersey resident. I think New Jersey. Right? Yeah. Charles Payne, what do you think? I, I told you he was going to do it. We had this conversation. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's it's crazy. You know, it's, it's offensive. Uh, when, when I add up my federal, state, local taxes, it's, it's more than 50% I'm paying. I, so I'm offended that somehow... He says you had an <laughs> obligation to pay your fair share. I know. Share. I, you know somehow m my paying over 50% is not enough. And somehow I get up every morning before 5 a.m. I work 12 hours minimum every single day. And somehow I'm ripping off somebody else. This guy's offensive. But this notion is offensive. And it's, here's the thing. It's backfired. Everywhere they've tried this, it's backfired. You look in this country at income inequality, it has backfired. You know, last year, homelessness in America went up for the first time in seven years by 3,000 people. 13,000 were in California. There's 20,000 on Skid Row in Los Angeles. Neil, it does not work. So you can't artificially. I know this is one of eight states where Democrats have the run of the table. The, the, the governor's right. mansion, both houses of, of the legislature, the assembly of the legislature. So he could get his way. But we're even hearing when the president of the Senate, a Democrat, who was not that long ago with us, I believe sure, you as well, sure. said, you know, this might not be the time to do it. He's In right. light of the, sure. you know, the, you can't write off your state. After the taxes, the blue states got hit really but, hard. But I'm uh, getting a, the vibe that Murphy doesn't agree he's going to do it. I, you know, I don't, but it's not, they should, they should stop lying and suggesting that it's economic policy. It could be a social policy, it could be a social punishment, it could be punitive, but it is not in, of a smart economic policy. And I'm pretty sure there are some Democrats who've looked around, looked at the mass exit of amazing talent that's left New Jersey, just like they've left California. And understand, and this is probably why he added that line about those considering leaving. Yeah, a lot of people are packing their bags and you're losing amazing talent. And places like Charlotte are going through the roof, places like Atlanta going through the roof, places like Florida going through the roof. Same thing over on the- But on the Charles, I have some panelists here up to some northeastern elites, I call them, who said, who would ever want to be away from the proximity to this and all of that? <laughs> you know, it's, it's one of these things. I bump into people almost every day on my way to the garage, and they come to visit this. You know, it's a beautiful thing. It's great to have access to it. I prefer a backyard myself, and I still go to all the plays and the shows, and I could do that if I lived in Charlotte. I'm tethered to Fox News, but if I wasn't, if I was not here, I would certainly move out of New Jersey. I think there are a lot of people whose, whose kids are still in school. The only reason why they're not doing it is their kids are still in school. I get that, too. You know what? I'm an Army brat. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I went to my high school was the first school I went to two years in a row. I get why people would do that. But push come to shove. Take your kids somewhere else where you can actually pay for their college and they'll right. make new friends. Chris Christie was there for the big event. And as far as we understand, he said something like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> More to this.